kings, queens, prince, and princesses, welcome to another day of vlogging. What up, y'all? I'm about to give y'all the recipe to the pizza that I be making. What I did was I found another video off YouTube on how to make it, but I adjusted it to our liking and how we like it. So it's pretty much the same pizza, but minor adjustment. So I got it down. This is where we're going to put all of our recipes and stuff in it. We already got two in here so far, but we just got to do all the rest of them that we um do. So I got it all down. So first, we're going to need pretty much 20 ounces of flour. Hopefully, this is enough. I hope it is. Or we only going to make one pizza. And when you make this pizza, you want to put it in the refrigerator overnight to let it do what it do in the fridge overnight. But you don't have to. You can take this pizza once you finish um, mixing it and all that and kneading it. And you can put it in the pan and wait between six to eight hours of it just um, rising in the pan. And then you can cook it. But I we like it either way. They taste the exact same. Yeah, it don't taste no different. So you can just make it this, that way. But what we going to do, because we're going to eat it tomorrow, because we ain't got four to eight hours to spell today, we're just going to make it tomorrow. So... 20 ounces of flour. I hope this enough flour. This getting close <laughs> to the end. This probably just enough. Oh no. We don't have enough. Nope. I ain't never mixed flour because this is a different brand. Think it's going to be good? Nah, right. It's unbleached. Nope, this one bleached and that one unbleached. I got to go to the store and get some flour. I will be back. We need about two more ounces of flour. So I might as well get the cheese while I'm there too. I'm gonna show y'all the two cheeses that we use. We only use two different kinds. Let me find the other one. It has to say whole milk. You wanna get whole milk, not the low moisture, whatever that one. Whole milk, whole milk. This one, and the craft whole milk. The craft say that low moisture in it, but make sure it say whole milk. Only get these two cheeses. If you get either one of these, they're gonna taste the exact same. Don't get no other cheese. Only whole milk cheese. Shred it. So I'm gonna get all oh, these by five or more for $1.99. I'm gonna get five because we use this pretty often. And I'm gonna just go and get the flour from here since we only need like two ounces. So whole milk cheese. Only Kraft or Sargentino. Only those two cheeses. Don't get no other cheeses. And when you get flour, make sure it's unbleached all purpose flour. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna have the measurements on the screen. So right now we have 20 ounces. It's really 19.95 ounces of flour. We have the flour already inside. We gonna mix all of the dry ingredients first. Three grams of dry yeast. 0.3 ounces of salt. That looks like a lot of salt. 0.3 ounces of sugar. 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna whisk all this together. Mix it really, really well like this. And what I like to do, I mix it like that and then I pull it up to get some of that stuff from the bottom up on top so we can mix this well all together. Want to mix it well. So now we're getting ready to add the wet ingredients. This don't take long. And make sure you follow the directions. Don't go and start getting the stuff and then you create your own pizza. You ain't having Dominique pizza. Get the same as that stuff and follow the directions. Go along. Try my pizza first. See how you like it. Then maybe next time you can be like, oh, it need this, this, and this. But I promise you, you ain't going to need nothing else. This pizza is perfect. You think that pizza perfect? It's great. So... Try this pizza like this. I'm telling you, it's going to be good. Try it like this. So we're going to add 11.4 fluid ounces of water. I always use cold water because it be the cold water in the refrigerator. I don't use the water that come out the tap. I use cold spring water, the water that we drink. So 11.4. Pour it all in there. And then... 1.05 ounces of vegetable soybean oil. You got to make sure it's vegetable soybean oil. Sometimes it ain't going to say soybean on the front of it. It may say it on the back of it, but make sure it say soybean vegetable oil. I don't use multiple brands of this. It really don't matter which brand you use, but I don't the type of person I am, I don't like to go for the cheapest, cheapest stuff. I like to get quality stuff. Sometimes cheap is good, but sometimes it's not. But I just get the regular store brand vegetable soybean oil. I You can go to Walmart, H-E-B if you got one, Publix, just regular soybean oil. Trying to get it all up in there. We're going to mix this on low for two minutes. All right, y'all, future Dominique Kill. I lost like four or five files from transferring the files from the camera to the computer, so those are just missing. So I'm gonna try my best to explain it without having the stuff here. So what we do after the two minutes is going from mixing the stuff with all the wet ingredients. After the two minutes, you're gonna get napkins. If you have a small napkins, use two of them. If you have a big napkins, use one. So you're gonna wet it. You want to wet it like that, and you open it up, and put the napkin over the bowl. Keep the um, mixture inside the bowl, and place that over the bowl. You're going to put on a 15-minute timer. Let that sit in there and rise a little bit for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes is up, you're going to take this off. You can throw this away. Use the dough hook. Use the dough hook and put on put on another 15 minute timer while the dough hook is going. So let that go for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes is up, you grab all the dough and you get a gallon size bag. This is if you are cooking it for overnight this pizza is ready to cook right there once you finish with the dough hook for 15 minutes you can put it like skip past all this and put it inside the pan and proof that you can fast forward it to get to that part i put a marker right here if you want to make this pizza same day. the same day skip to this marker and i you can proceed there but if you're going to make it the next day, you take all the, you, you want to pour some vegetable soybean oil inside the bag. Maybe about this amount of 
vegetable oil. You don't want a whole, whole lot. You just want enough just to get in there. So you take the dough out the mixer and put it in there. But I like to form my dough. I don't like for the dough to have those big old splits in it. So I like to form it, put some, a little on my hands, like oil on my hands so I can form the dough into a ball and pretty, make it pretty much smooth and not with a lot of creases in it. Because if it have a lot of creases in it, when you cook it in the oven, the creases is going to be in the pizza dough. So I don't like that. That's just a personal preference, but you don't have to do that. But you want to ball it up and put it inside of here and do not close this all the way. I like to leave it open and just fold it up under. So the dough gonna be on this part and you fold it up, up over like that and you just stick it in the refrigerator like that for overnight. And then continue. What's up y'all, Dylan and I. You see my little dealie? Yes, we are up early with it. I was supposed to get up at 10 o'clock but I didn't put my phone on the charger last night, so it went dead. And when I finally broke, well, when Dylan woke me up, it was like 10, 28. Um, so I'm up. It's Friday, May 19th. And it's three days before my baby turned eight. Yes, D I'll say Dylan. Yes, Davion's birthday is Monday. So y'all probably like, Tia, why ain't work at work? So y'all know normally um, for the birthdays, we go out of town. So. I had already had my days off for his birthday, but we're not going anywhere. Bless you. We're not going anywhere this year. Um, well, out of town this year, but it's fine. So I kept a couple days just to relax and be and hang out with the family. Back to why I'm up early. I'm up early just to make some breakfast so we can put on our stomach because we're trying to get out the house by like 12 today. Get out the house, take y'all along with us for our day, get our weekend started this Friday. And so come along, enjoy the time with us us say hello tell them hello say hello y'all the big kids at like dilly gonna play uno say hi doll say hi hello. to everybody then the pancakes about to make the eggs and we got the grits i'm gonna throw a sausage i'm gonna throw a sausage and get it cooked too and then I'm going to make my honey his chicken mini little ordeal. No. Why who coming no. behind me? Why you sneak up behind me? Huh? Uh. Can I get kisses? Mm. You like mommy kisses? Uh. Mm. Uh. I probably put a little bit too much vegetable oil when I put it in the refrigerator. It was wasting. But this is the very first time this ever happened to me. So maybe when I switched it all around, maybe I put kept too much up at the top. Cause this never happened to me before. I'm about to... Every time you record something, it's like something always Yeah, I, this never happened. This is the first time this ever happened. He trying to act like y'all, he be making this pizza, but I really be making this pizza. Y'all see me over here. <laughs> so this is Tierra's recipe of pizza. <laughs> so next what we gonna do, why don't you take over uh, daddy recipe? <laughs> no, I'm not. Because it's mine. You found it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Just kidding. Alright, y'all. So, the very next step, I took it out the refrigerator. You can show them. This is how much that it rolls. And show them this. So, now you're going to get the pan ready. I'm going to have the pan, every pan that I have that I'm using, I'm going to put it down in the description. Y'all can just click on the link and check it out. But you want to make sure this a 14 inch pan and a deep dish pan. You don't want the small pizza pans like this. Because if you get the small pizza pans, it's not going to rise up. Get this one. Or another version of this. It ain't got to be the same as that one, but it need to be like this. So what we're going to do, I'll make, I always guess by how much. I do that much, make that probably that big of a circle inside of it because you, because you're going to um, have some oil also from 
the bag. So before you touch it, you want to grease your hand like that. So it don't stick to your hand. Toss this. I'll push that down after. Yeah. You see, it's not really no big creases and folds in there. I'm going to put the better side on top. That's what I do. Put the better side on top so it can be pleasing. And you see how thick this thing is? All you do is put pressure out a little bit. Please, please, please do not press this like a pancake or a Little Caesar pizza. You want this pizza to be thick, still thick. So when you press it out, when you first put it in here, it's not gonna go to the edges all the way. So don't expect it to go to the edges. Please do not press this all the way down. I'm just moving around to get some of that oil around now. You want it to have space around now. You want it to. And all you do is cover this up. You're going to cover that up for about two hours. You're going to put another pan on top of it. Cover it up for another two hours. And then you're going to press it out a tad bit more. You want this to get to the edges of the pan on its own. Do not press it all the way to the edge. Let it rise and spread out. Then in two hours, you press it out again, cover it back up, and let it rise for two more hours. You press it out just a tad bit. Do not flat in the middle of your pizza dough. You want it to be the same thickness all the way around. You want this to sit out at least six hours. I want to say and go all the way up there. I was saying get uphill so we could go straight. <laughs> yeah. But we could have went up there, but I was talking uh, about right here. Yeah, we couldn't walk through the thing. I'm taller than y'all. Now, how y'all day going? Great. What y'all been doing? Nothing. Where we going? I don't know. This is this place called what is Postmark? Post. My mama see the been looking up. They be having events and stuff here. She always wanted to come, so we decided to come check it out. We came before, but it was crowded. They was having a concert or something. Air, fresh air. Just look at that lovely view. Look at that view. Everything. Yeah. Look, they just seen a picture of a cotton candy pill. We haven't had cotton candy in a while. Mm -hmm. We haven't had cotton candy in a while. Hey, hey. Y'all mean we not your cheese? Y'all mean not your cheese? Go. They got some junk. Go. <laughs> Last year we woke up in the hey, Mexico at a resort. I wish you was there right now. Yeah, a memory popped up on her phone and we was at the resort. Who birthday? Davion birthday resort. The Moon, Palace. Moon Palace. We love that one. Yeah. I love yeah, that's I the grand. Yeah. I love that one. I wish we was there at the grand right now. Yeah. It's this vintage shop I always see online. I've been to the other one. They opened up a new location. I wanted to come and check it out. So we're here now. This is a very nice area. I like this area. That's a G Wagon over there. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Hmm. 
Yeah, it'll be having a price on them. You see? Oh, I really, really, really love this shirt right here. I love this shirt. But it's a size large. I would need an extra large. I think I would have got this if it was an extra large. I wish this was in my size. So this is where we at now. All you do is press it out. You can show them while I'm doing it because I want them to see. I don't want y'all to smash it like a pancake. Just spread it out some more. Spread it out more. It's still not going to go to the edges, and that's perfectly okay. Just spread it out. When bubbles come, I pop the bubbles. Like that was a bubble right there. You don't want bubbles in it. So I'm going to leave it about right there and cover it up. You, it's just a slow process, look, 311. It's just a slow process. Don't rush this step because if you rush this, you're gonna mess up the crust when the pizza cooking. So just let it go out. It's only been two hours and you see how much that it spread it out. That's two hours. Imagine when six hours. They added to a community that we done been to before, but we never been on this side. I actually came yesterday and walked in two houses, had my mama Sita on the phone, and we really, really, really love these houses. Yeah. I came here yesterday, but we, I didn't see these. I didn't see no modern homes. I walked the homes that they built. Yeah, like over there, I want the houses like that. Hey. This that builder, with, cause you know how I had the thing under the in the storage. This room is huge. This room is big. If y'all like this house, y'all got to wait till y'all see my houses that I walked in yesterday. The ones over there? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I really like this house. Yeah, I really do. Look at the details. This is nice. Seventeen steps beats our own record. <laughs> that I, 
It's like oh. one haunt though. Cause they had two rooms in that moving room up here. Remember in the loft? I'll go check the movie room. This is not that house. <laughs> This is not that house. What? We just left those model homes and instead of driving over there, we decided to get some steps. They said we ain't walking the next one. I'll be trying to get as many steps as I can. You gonna bring the car here to get us. <laughs> I'll walk with you, daddy. Yep. <laughs> We're in another house, and this one is unique. I never seen it. The movie room right off the loft. Oh, I can Look, you can like say you eating or something right here. This is the same thing as a couch in the bathroom. Yeah, it's like a. This is the same. Oh yeah, so you can sit down and watch the movie. This but I don't know if the chair is that high. Maybe an adult can. You probably got to find some stools there. Oh, you can. Oh, you can. You can watch a movie right here. We can have the pizza. I thought it was going to be lower. Mm. Yeah, really eat see. and drink right here. No, it's to Daddy Meg. I don't think I'll be No, asleep. it's way up there. The TV no. not that low. Yeah, we love this um, backsplash and these mirrors. This is like really yeah. different and nice. I don't think by you saying it. Yeah, not by you saying it. That tub is. Yeah, the whole family can sit in there. Oh, the shower we need. We don't need nothing bigger than that. Mm. 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 Oh, with the um, sitting there and stuff. Like, with great steak. power comes great responsibility. You're going to need Do a bigger boat. Do you see lines all over that? There's no signs in baseball. Doing we Doing inside the VR. media room and we noticed the pictures on the wall. They phrases from different movies. No, infinity and to infinity and beyond. From what? Toy Story and Buzz Lightyear. I'm about to go get the car because they don't want to go walk in the hot sun. So I gotta go get the car. Over there sitting over there like a little princess. I sat down, I ain't know this chair was this deep. I thought I was about to fall. Yeah, we going in to see these houses. Let me see. Cause we just came from the model home and she told us to come over here and look at these houses. Let me see something. So we're gonna take y'all along the seat, just a little part. We ain't gonna, you know, bore y'all with all the house. Um, but let me see. Locked. The lady just told us that was open. It's too hot out here be playing games, whether or not the house open or not. I ain't even finna try the next one. Like I just said, it's too hot, and I ain't got time to be playing games. Back in the car, I go. My honey was sitting in the car. Let me close the door. My honey was sitting in the car because Dylan just fell asleep. So he stayed in the car. I almost bust my behind, y'all. Y'all just seen that? We see another house. They stand in the car. They tired. They keep saying they hot. But... This one have two doors. Oh, this is a mother-in-law suite. It's locked. Yeah, they did. They walked through because you can see all the um, stickers on here. Yeah, it's that's a mother-in-law suite. You can see the kitchen in there. That's nice. This the house we just tried to go in that was so this the model. This thing is nice. We came in through that side door that I tried to open. Oh look. They they have like a little bar. Mommy. They gonna look like your your visitors have their own area within your home. So it's like it's part of the home, but then it's separate. They gonna and they have these two little charger things that they But no, this just that this just furniture. You gotta add this up, baby. This don't come with this. Take it out since it doesn't come with it. I yanked it out since it doesn't come with it. And this the room. Ooh, this is oh, it connects to the other house, part of the house. Oh, 
They got a big closet. Mm. The guests. Mm. Then they get too comfortable. <laughs> mm. And not want to leave. And we got to evict them. Mm. <laughs> To start paying. You know, after you stay like three days, you gotta evict. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's the best idea with that. So they, they don't got microwaves and stuff, but that's good because yeah. say like when my mom Go came like and, and she had leftovers, she could put them right here and she could put them. But that yeah. then your daddy pasta, yeah. put it in the refrigerator and warmed it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I guess they say guests not gonna be cooking. We gonna cook. I ain't gonna put that, but yeah, you supposed to cook for your guests, and they have their little leftovers. You gonna cook? I always do. Oh, uh, you gonna cook? I, can cook I always do. This a big, huge bathroom too. Mm -hmm. Oh, the shower. You know the shower. Yeah, and it stand up. It got to sit down. Mm -hmm. It's big too. Yeah. And that's not the cheap one. That's the one you can actually clean good. This nice. I like this. I like that lamp. That. Oh yeah, even like say, I ain't even gonna say that because I often say, say he, Dominique get older and he turn 18, mm -hmm. that can be like a little area. But he, he gonna think this is now. Nah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Okay. Pull back two rows. Ella. This is nice. The room ain't as big as like other rooms yeah. we've seen, but but this perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's longer. It's still not as wide, yeah. but it's longer. These are some big closets. <laughs> he was about to try to scare me. No, uh, yes, he was. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the laundry. Oh, that'll be good too. Say they in there, they can got access to the laundry. Oh, they can do their own yeah. Laundry. Well, they shouldn't be here that long. Be doing <laughs> you see that long patio porch? Nice. Let me go ahead. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Uh-uh. If you have a lot of guests. Let me grab an orange. Oh, this the pantry? Yeah, it's like she And this even bigger space to put yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. Like, the frying thing can go there. Air fryer. Air fryer. Y'all like the milk? Mixer. mixer, blender, Do all like that. Milk? So it don't have to be out here. Yeah. Y'all like milk? You know. Almond milk. You use it for stuff. Yeah, like you can get one on this thing. Receive up to twenty thousand dollars in price reductions. Fixed oh, rate as low as they say we can get a cookie. Five percent. Receive up to ten percent. Ten thousand plus closing cost. Do you see all these windows? Mm -hmm. I like that. I love this. Well, I, I, love this I wish they can give you this actually big backyard. Oh, yeah, this yeah. is a huge yard. Oh, yes. Man, we can have a trampoline. Oh, oh, and right. it's still oh, go. Yes. All of the kids from there. We can have, have a playground side. pool. Honey, oh. Huh? Your grill. Uh -huh. a, a pool. Yeah, slide. you got enough room to put a pool and everything back there. We can there. have a pool, a pool slide, uh -huh. a diving board, yeah. a park. Yep. Oh. The park can go on this side over here. Like the whole entire park can, it's like a real whole entire park can go like right there. And if we take away those bushes. Mm -hmm. You can leave the bushes and still have enough room for the park. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> I said it's a nice size bathroom area. I'm not dramatic, but oh. 
This is Ooh. this is a good house. Yeah, it is. I'm not dramatic, but... This is the same exact house, but I ain't really remember all this, but the next gen, this is what it was called. Mm. I'm not dramatic. Oh, they have that little table up there. Mm. They just need your tub. That's what I said. But it's enough room over here for a tub. I like that dench in here. This closet is big. I seen you going there. I know. We're going there. You didn't eat all the, all the food out of there. This over the Everlay. Really? Yeah. The next gen area. Everything. Oh. You got the everything downstairs. Oh, yeah. I think I'm more leaning towards a one story. Because, because the, the guest room. Because all the bedrooms would be on the one story. And most of the houses we've been looking at. The guest room been upstairs, and we need that guest room downstairs Cause now. Because what? Huh? what? Because our parents are getting older oh. and older. They're not getting younger. So that's why we need the guest room downstairs. And you heard what mom said, Jackie? What? Well, tell him. What I said. You remember about when I get all this thing? No, I said you going to want that room. I ain't say you get it. So we just left this house right there. Now we're about to go view this one. This the outside. This thing is huge. That thing huge. Welcome to my new house and school. This is my our, my homemade prince. Well, my my brother principal, and his name is Dominique Jr. And this is where they get the tension, if they be bad. So this is the study. Like that, like this is a grand entrance. Oh, they get their own bathroom? Oh no, that's the closet. Bathroom and closet. Mm. This is my little kid, Timothy. Timothy. This is my little kid, Timothy. He likes to sleep under there. Timothy is under those cabinets. <laughs> well, inside of those cabinets. So this half bath for everybody. Don't ask why. Don't ask why. Don't ask why. Yeah, they look kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Daddy, don't ask why I chunk Timothy. Mm. See, now that That's I can do. Oh, because it's right there. Yeah. Mom, I struck one of my students, Timmy Feet. He's in that bathroom. Okay. And then he has. He has his own bedroom. They got some Tito's. Tito's. Good night. Tito's. 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 I don't see no Tito, Cheetos. <laughs> Tito, Tito, Tito. Look at this. 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 Look
Which one you taking? This one or next door? I ain't finished with this. <laughs> okay. 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 But I think I would like our own little spigots. Mm. The, I said our own temperature. Yeah, I like this um, closet. It's big too. Mm. Oh, we go way up there too. Nice room. Y'all see it got the window sill. Then the bathroom, the closet is you walk through the bathroom to get to the closet. Well, I thought you were you, a monster. Well, I thought you were a monster. Well, I thought you were a monster. This is a big closet. Tell them, my honey, I'm choosing this. What? You like this house? I'm choosing this house over the house next door. I like this one. Let me show y'all the rest of it. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. It's spacious up here. I like it. I like this house better than that next gen house. But that next gen house is really nice. You taking this one too? This this couch is firm. It don't like because I don't like the couch that's too soft that you just sink into, and your body. You know how sometimes you just need like a firm to help when you like when you sink into it. But sometimes your body like for posture wise and back and stuff. You need something firm. I like this couch that is firm. And it's comfortable. That's the fishing room. I like how they got it decorated with those, that fishing decoration. Dominique showed y'all that. Y'all know how when y'all be hungry and you drink water, you just feel the coldness all in your tummy. That just happened to me. I'm so hungry. My honey gonna say what you wanna eat. I'm for sure taking this one. Daddy, you I'm see, taking this one. You seen my closet? Uh-huh. Come feel the couch. Both of those rooms are big too. You see what I'm talking about? You see how it's firm, but yeah. it's comfortable. Yeah. Baby. I like. You I think wasn't you... expecting that when I sat down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do like this. It'll last a long yeah. time too. Like well, what you you prefer? A, it's a, not hard firm. Right. It's like soft firm. Do you prefer a couch that you sink into? Nah, I like this one. Well, it depends on where it's at. Is it, um, am I dark because you? No. Okay. It depends on where it's at. Stop Damn. for y'all hit him. It went back though. Like, say if it's somewhere like a movie theater or something, I want soft, comfort, chill, because you're going to be there for an hour or two. What you think? You're going to get uncomfortable on this for an hour? I don't think so. Probably not, but you still want to be sunk in. Uh -huh. Not the sunken place, but <laughs> you want to sink in the couch while you're watching a movie, chill, comfortable. But I want, because you know the in the million dollar home that you like, like say that little bed thing, 
This will probably be good for that too. Mm. You laying down on you can this. Eat right there and watch this would be a good bed. Yeah, just <laughs> I, I said it's good for you. But back. you be acting like you don't like the firm beds. I like the firm beds. No. Some this backwards. <laughs> yes. And he just a staring. He's just been doing faces ever since we've been having this camera right here. Mm. What you was about to say? No, I was saying. Like, cause for my back, cause lately, you know, my back been hurt. Oh, yeah. So, like, oh, we yeah. need to get a firmer bed. Mm. Hit up them stairs? auctions. Get a firm bed. Mm. From that one? Like, Keyshawn bed? I like Keyshawn bed. That yeah, they talking about it was hard. I felt it was good. I felt like it was, nice. yeah. It was a good Keyshawn bed. Keyshawn got a good bed. I like that bed. That bed in that guest room, though, was nice, too. Yeah, so that one, too. Yeah. I like both of them yeah. beds. Yeah. Um, like can we have two of the dirt? Donuts, please. Okay. And that's it. Just two dirt. Anything else to drink for you? Nah, that's it. All right, gosh. If it's two dirt donuts, it'd be six, even at the window. Is it to be who? I I couldn't hear you. What you said? I'm oh, sorry. If it's just a two dirt, maybe six, even at the window. Okay. Thank you. You're I thought he said sixty minutes. He oh. said six, even. Mm. Yeah, the kids they wanted some voodoo donuts. They all every time we ride by, they be asking for them. So we decided to bring them and let them get it. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. But what if it gets all over the ground and stuff? Oh, y'all eat them when we going in the store. Yeah, cause they already got. That's um, why we just park right here and just let them eat them. But we gotta go in the store anyway. How y'all doing? Good. You gonna make them gobble them down? Mm. We gonna walk in now. They ain't gotta gobble. <laughs> we, we gonna walk regular. <laughs> what kind of shirt is that? Uh, so I have a. It's a group called City Morgue. They're mm -hmm. like a. They kind of like they're. I'm gonna say a rap duo, but they combine different genres. But um, they had, they went on tour and had went to the show and so I got. Mm. Yeah, I like that. They still sell it. You might be able to find it. I don't know if it's gonna be for like retail, mm. uh, but you can still search it up. I would just search up City More Tour Merch or something like that. All right. I mean, if you search their name a bitch, you'll be able to find it. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's a nice shirt. It's a tour shirt. I like shirts that have like tour dates. That's why I want to get us some shirts and put every place that we ever visited. Oh on the back of it but i'm kind of yeah, waiting until we visit more, even more, more places so it can be a lot so that can be coming soon what you say it's like this smell good we opened the back and smoked it yeah well, i probably can't fit it yet it's a large they eating them donut nuts Yeah, but I dropped. We're not. Ever since we got this barbecue sauce the last time, my honey just been hooked. That barbecue sauce is amazing. He didn't kick the pole crab to the side. I guess he said he didn't have crab all his life, so. Yeah, I did. Growing up with you. <laughs> We also got some pepperonis because I don't know if we got enough at the house. We just got some just to be safe. I lifted it to my left, then I let it, I got up, then this happened. From the last time before we left, we came back home so I can press this out and take out some chicken for my mama Sita to cook some boneless wings tonight with the pizza. I didn't touch this no more. Look. It went through the whole pan. You put it on me. That's why you don't have to spread that all the way out. Just cover it. Make sure you cover it. And then when I put this on, it then puffed up and touched all the top. All I do is I just pull it up slowly and off it up. And then it'll um, pretty much disconnect. So this is ready to cook right now. And it's been six hours. Six hours. So six hours is good yeah this puffed all the way up this the part where it was touching so i'm gonna put it on there again and by the time that chicken thawed out we're gonna be good to go i'm gonna make some simple syrup we forgot the name of that simple syrup but my mama sita just pulled it up 
Make some simple syrup and I'm gonna make some lemonade. So we're gonna have all this with lemonade. I gotta put that recipe in the book. I'll show y'all my lemonade recipe another day. Cause I do it a different way than everybody else. So I'll show y'all that one day. And they love the lemonade, they love it. I wrote the card, then I forgot it turned, then it went like right under here. I touched it! I'm about to start making the pizza sauce. So you're gonna get one can of this tomato paste. This brand right here. This one is good. You like this one? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna see the vet though. Y'all already do who that was. <laughs> this one is good. This gonna have your pizza right. And when you get this, you want the 12 ounce can. Get this brand if you can find this brand. If you can't find this brand, don't get make what it you, pizza. <laughs> get what you can get. But I recommend getting this brand. Whatever brand called. I want to just say. <laughs> Whatever this brand called. Even oh. when I uh, went to get it. I want to hear the say it. <laughs> so you're going to fill one cup up with this. What's that? water i like to use the half a teaspoon for all the seasonings and stuff because some of it you need one two and then like a few things you need half you need a half teaspoon of garlic powder half of garlic powder throw that off to the side you want two teaspoons of oregano two halves or two full no teaspoons. two so, so i'm gonna use four One, two, three, four. Need one teaspoon of dry, what did I say? Basil. Basil. <laughs> Basil. You need one teaspoon. He come to me one day talking about, we got some Basil? I'm like, what? He said Brazil. We ain't got no Brazil. One teaspoon of margarine. He probably said that wrong too, y'all. Y'all can go to the store and say, dumb, he said margarine. They probably didn't <laughs> got that in the stove. You need one teaspoon of salt. Half. I will dash this salt <laughs> in your face. <laughs> I'm going to step on my foot and twist it. And stump like. Y'all ain't even hit no stump, so y'all know he lied. She ain't stump, but she. That's how you just told that lie real quick. I stump, but now I ain't stump. What I did? Y'all like me recording him cooking, don't y'all? Because I make it fun and interesting. And then we need two teaspoons of sugar. You glad he wiped that off? I wipe it off with um the sh for the sugar, but when I do all that, I don't wipe it off. Cause when we cook, we pretty much be cooking with all that anyway. You won't cook with margarine. It don't taste like none. How you know? He <laughs> 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 just tell it told that lie. One, two, three, four. Now you have your pizza sauce. What we do, we like light sauce. So I'll show y'all how I make our pizza with light sauce, but you can put however much sauce. If you like sauce, like you want to make it like a deep dish, you go ahead, but I'm going to show you how we make our pizza. That's all the sauce we want. I'm probably gonna take some of that off. Oh, I'm just kidding. You ain't gonna, you gonna add some more. If I do add some more at the end, I always take it off. Mm. Eat like this. If I was done, I would scoop all this. I do this. Mm. Y'all, excuse me, I don't ever be in here when he's making it, so I, I guess he just gave me the look. Like, Tia, if you don't hush, you don't know what I be doing. Excuse oh, but me. I forgot I make the pizza, y'all. Yeah. If she made it, 
why she asking me. Won't she be in here making it? I'm she teaching tired you. of it. Making it herself, so she teaching you. She don't know. make no pizza. I think even when Pizza Hut do like sauce, they do more than that. Don't you be saying it's good? And be a little dry. Hmm. All right. No. <laughs> no, it'd be dry. You don't want it dry. I'm just kidding. Dang. Wait, you can have a little bit more sauce. Live a little. I live a lot. And when you put in the sauce on the pizza, you don't want to press down. Because the sauce are already going to make it a little heavier. It's going to sink down a little bit. But you don't want to press down with the spoon. Because you still want it to be thick. Like that tail. Now you want to get the cheese. And yeah, I told y'all which cheese to get. Either one. And use one and a half. One full bag. You can go with two, but just know if you use two full bags. I used two full bags before. It is delicious. It's just not. It good. look good, but when you cook it, the cheese melt on the crust. If you don't like that, don't use two bags. Use one and a half. If you use one bag, it's not going to be enough. That ain't how we make it. it ain't enough for us. Oh. So what I do is I get it and I just sprinkle it around. Don't worry about the edges yet because at the end, what I do, I brush them in. When y'all putting cheese on the pizza, what you want to do is you want to leave it a little light around the edges and put the cheese a little higher. You can put it on me. You can make a mountain in the middle of the pizza and that's when you cut it and pick it up, that's when you get that cheese pulled because you got more cheese in there. And that'll take away some of that cheese running over the crust. I learned the last time we did this pizza, I put more cheese inside the middle instead of on the outside. And that's what made it way better. Once you finish putting the cheese on there, what you want to do is take your hands and barely rub. Do not push the crust down. Just barely rub and scrape the crust in. The cheese. I'm sorry, the cheese. Scrape the cheese in. Do not push the crust down. That smells good. And it'll come. Just be patient. And gentle. And gentle. A lot of people, they mess stuff up because they ain't got the patience. They be wondering why they can't um do it high. The professionals like me and like the pizza places and they won't never make it again because they were like oh that don't work for me when well, you just got to have a little patience take your time with it just like y'all have patience in the bedroom and stuff yeah she cut y'all off cuz I guess she ain't want me talking about that but just how y'all have patience in the bedroom and stuff y'all keep doing that over and over and over and y'all ain't quit that have patience with this okay you can top your pizza however you like normally what I did before I should have just continued doing it how I've been doing it. Yeah. yeah but I wanted these to cook longer so I wanted to eat, get that extra well, four minutes because pizza have them on now like yeah. why when they go in the oven and then little season do that too everybody pretty much oh. that I know will do that Normally, what I used to do, if you don't want the, this going to move regardless of what I'm about to say. When What I did before, I put the oven on 500 degrees. Put the pizza in there. You need a pizza screen. Make sure you get a pizza screen. I'll show you when I put this in there. Put the pizza in there. This is your preference. Put the pizza in there for four minutes. Let the cheese start melting. Then take the pizza out. Put the toppings on the pizza because when you put the toppings on before, they're going to move even more. Even when you do that, um, put it in the oven, it's still going to move after. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the toppings on there before I put it in there because we like our pepperonis to have like a little more crisp to them. So I want it to cook in there the whole time. So I know they're going to move, but I guess I'll find out now how much they will move. Because even when I do it the careful way, the careful way, because I don't even know if that's careful, they still move. So I'm going to top them off with first. And I don't go all the way to the edge because that gives it more room to move. So I go, I use, I go about right there. And you don't want to overlap the pepperonis. Well, you can do whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't overlap the pepperonis because when they cooking, the pepperoni that's up under the um, other pepperoni, it don't be like crisp and cooked it'd be like a little soggy like you just eating pepperonis out the refrigerator if that's your thing you can do it we not doing it so we don't do no overlapping over here so this is the pizza screen you want to place this in the oven and put the pizza on top of this if you don't have one of these the bottom of the pizza is gonna burn you don't want the bottom to burn use this pizza screen i have it all linked below all right, y'all, so set the temperature to 450. You only want to put it on 500 if you're going to let the cheese melt some. We're not doing that, so we're going to put it on 450 and put it on the screen. Middle rack, middle rack, middle rack. And set a timer for 24 minutes. Yeah, I really would um, check it after 15 minutes and just time it and see what your oven do. We set it on 24 minutes because it's depending on how do you like your pizza. We like our, our cheese to be a little dark orange pepperonis like a little crisp. So while the pizza going, my mama Sita, she made her famous boneless barbecue wings. This the thing we got. We be working this thing. <laughs> yeah, $10. That thing, it worked good too. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? I said, mm hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> it's good. All right, so, so this was at 24 minutes. And we like our pizza like this. Look how thick that crust is. Oh, man. That is too That's that pan pizza. And this is the secret the ingredient. Grill. Secret ingredient. I'm going to put this in the di uh, description below. I thought you said the dictionary. <laughs> the <laughs> description below. Huh? Uh, you, why is it the secret ingredient if you're showing it? Because it was at the flavor. We're gonna, this is our family, so we're going to help them out. We ain't going to tell nobody that's Don't not our too much cause you, so family. You be it's you you don't, for way more than that. You don't want to waste it because you're not going to use it all. You don't want to go too crazy. You want that brush thing? Yeah. It's over there. I'm not doing anything. What? You ain't getting pizza. What? What you said. This is my mom, mom piece. Hmm. Why you be trying to keep secrets away from me? Because <laughs> huh. you know he's supposed to say it. Why would you say it? That's technically telling him. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, so that ain't what he said. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know what it is? What is it, Daddy? So you're gonna put this all the way around the piece. I'm gonna need more than this. Now I be putting way more than this. Well, you always say you be wasting this all. Yeah, time. but I put more than this when I waste it. Mm. It look like you still got some in there. But it's gonna need some more. Probably just a tad bit. That's enough. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you. Ooh, that's a lot. This you need. Or else it won't be good. It take that crust taste to another level, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it, it make it really, really good. 
and don't just use no any butter. Get this one. You don't even, you ain't even, you didn't even know that was gonna taste good. Yeah, I, um, you remember I seen the TikTok? And the lady was, she was like, y'all be making crowds and stuff and all this restaurant stuff and y'all wonder why it don't taste like the restaurant? It's because they use this. Get this. It ain't even real butter. It ain't. Tastes like it. What I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. This is good. So you want to put that all around. Sometimes. It look like you. Mm -hmm. I put it around there mm -hmm. a little bit. You kind of missed it, but you didn't. I think it's just my eyes to see them. Look at that thing. My honey be doing the dang thing. And you don't have to get your pizza yeah, this dark. Up. Just watch it. it. It also depends on the oven because all ovens different. What I do is I hold this side and cut because this pizza will be moving. Maybe I should try to follow the line. Because if you don't hold it, did I hear him? You don't hold it, you're going to cut those pepperonis. Look how good that pizza looking now. Y'all better go yeah. order all this stuff and make this pizza tonight. Do we sharpen these? Because this not cutting like it used to. Look at that slice in there. Look how thick that is. Just like a nice plump dough. <laughs> not no any old. <laughs> Look at that thing. This gonna it's gonna produce extra sauce, but the kids they love theirs like the Chicago style pizza turn. So Davion put his on top. And a little on the side. Thank you. And Dominique get his on the side. Delicious. What'd you give it? The chicken, a 10 out of 10. The pizza, a 10 out of 10. Town, town, town. What'd you give it? She ready to lie. <laughs> she is ready to lie. 10 out of 10. All right, y'all. If y'all enjoyed this video, go and make y'all some. Please go and make y'all some. And we top ours with Parmesan. We love Parmesan on top of this pizza. It's very good. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And always remember, you are a king. <laughs> you are a queen. You are a prince. And you, yeah, you right there are a little bitty princess. Bye. Peace. See y'all tomorrow.